We're in for anything this morning at DHD Engineering where we're going to be having a chat with Nico and Franco from ISCAR. The client has a deep hole drilling application that ISCAR have been successful with. Let's go inside and have a look at what they're doing. So Franco, tell us a little bit about ISCAR's relationship with DHD Engineering. Yes, Lee, a, a year ago they actually um, came to us and they said to us that um, they're looking into deep hole drilling and there was a company, a European company, that used to supply them with uh, deep hole drilling that basically stopped supplying them and it was a big problem for them. And um, yes, we came to them and we gave them the ISCAR product. It's actually part of the IMC group. We had a company that specialized in deep hole drilling. Got a few cutters and we tested it. and. So far, so good, and it was actually an uh, amazing journey so far. And I mean, a year ago, if you look back where we started with this company, um, it's actually going well so far with the deep hole drilling. So, Nico Franco was telling us just now that uh, you guys are supplying two different drill sizes. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about the actual drills. So, we're supplying them of a diameter 39 and a 43.5, um, where the 39 diameter is not the common size or the most that they drill, the 43 diameter they drill a lot where we did a lot of R&D where we actually created a new head for them um, especially for them with the amount of holes that they drill and um, by drilling 3.8 meters per part we actually doubled the two life to the competitors two life from six parts to 12 parts per insert and um, yes it's a it's a very new head and we actually using this as our testing grounds to get new type of technology out there that's very interesting nika perhaps we can go out onto the machines and have a look at what's happening yes thank you Yeah, tell us a little bit about uh, DHD Engineering's relationship with ISCAR so far. Well, we started off having a, a problem with the supply of the previous tooling. And uh, then we started shopping around trying to find alternative supplies. And uh, we were put onto ISCAR. And uh, ISCAR came around and had a look at our operation. And then they brought some tools for us to test. And the initial tests weren't very successful. Um, but they persevered and then brought somebody from Japan as well as somebody from uh, from Israel and these two gentlemen came and spent uh, I think two days with us and uh, started doing experiments with various grades and various profiles uh, the chip cutting one of the Japanese gentlemen had a small file and he was filing the tips just to get the right angles and tested it and from there um, they went back and started producing these, but um, decided to to improve on on the on the design which they had at that stage even further. And uh, at the moment, we are we are still testing it, but the, the, the test results look very good, very happy. Albertus, I see the relationship with ISCO on the drilling head side seems to be going very well. You see you guys have uh, implemented a matrix system in the factory as well. Tell us, how is that benefiting you so far? Lee, yes, um, we don't have it for a long time yet. Um, it's about three months now. But we decided to go to the matrix machine because um, previously they worked out of a safe, stock control out of a safe. And yeah, the machine helps us to do a better forecast on stock control because this is really specialized um, tooling that we have here. And uh, lead time for manufacturing is about 8 to 12 weeks. So yeah, it helps us a lot. Well, that was a very interesting morning having a look around DHD Engineering. Um, thank you very much to Franco and Nico from ISCO for sharing one of their success stories with us. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks a lot.